Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. During the fall of 1942, the Japanese fleet was able to bring only a trickle of supplies and men to Guadalcanal. In order to achieve a final and decisive battle on the island, the Japanese sent transports with enough reinforcements to outnumber the Americans and turn the momentum of the war back in favor of Japan. As the Imperial force approached Guadalcanal, on the night of November 12th, they were detected by a weapon they did not possess. We have met the enemy, and they are ours. Our radar found them through the darkness, told us their course, their speed, their disposition. Radar guided our torpedoes, aimed our guns. After spotting the Japanese fleet, a detachment of cruisers and destroyers was sent to stop it. The result was the Naval Battle of Guadalcanal. On the night of November 12th, last Friday night, East Longitude time, a series of naval engagements began between forces of the United States Navy and the Japs. These actions continued through Saturday with our Navy's communique saying that both American and Japanese forces suffered losses. This sea battle is continuing. And while it is more of a series of encounters rather than a full-dress single battle, it is of major importance. Although the U.S. force failed to make full use of its radar equipment, they turned back the Japanese convoy. The following two days saw the Japanese convoy renew attempts to reinforce Guadalcanal. Yet once again, U.S. Navy ships and planes were there to meet them. To Vice Admiral Halsey, aboard the flagship, came word of a huge Jap troop convoy. American warships steamed into action. For three days and three nights, Halsey pounded the invading fleet with every gun firing. What was left of the Jap fleet staggered north. The Secretary of the Navy said we have won round two in the Solomons, but he said the battle was not decisive and that the Japs will come back for round three. Some Japanese ships would return to the waters around Guadalcanal, but their hope for victory on the island was eliminated with the defeat of the transport convoy. No longer would the Japanese be able to provide naval or aircraft support for the island. Soon the Americans would have more than 35,000 men on Guadalcanal, the outnumbered Japanese forces would barely have enough to eat. I'm Ed Herlihy. Join me next time for World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.